today's class today we would be talking about the concept of region so let's start understanding the concept of region with a very simple example i have three blocks here okay now if i have three blocks in hand what can we say uh, i can say this is a region okay so if i'm saying this is a region because all of these three are blocks and i'm using a block uh, as a means of denoting something that has common characteristics then it is known as region so region basically implies a unit of area or a space that shares some common properties or characteristics So any region which has some common characteristics can be called as any space which has some common characteristics can be called as region. So for example, if I am saying all these three are blocks, okay, so this is a region. But now here is where we try to understand what is the difference between a formal region, a functional region, and a perceptual region. So I would say this is a kind of a perceptual region. because i am perceiving that all three of these are blocks okay since all these three are blocks they should be considered as region but there can be a friend of mine who can see this and say oh no this should not be a region because there are different sizes okay these two are of the same size this is of a different size so according to me this should be the region okay then there can be another friend of mine who can say no these two appear to be same in the size so they should be part of one region but according to me they have different colors so they should be demarcated differently so according to the third friend of mine only this should be a part of one region okay so this is where we try to understand the types of region okay so we will start with the first fundamental classification where we understand the formal function and the perceptual region so you have the formal region the functional region and the perceptual region perceptual region is also known as vernacular regions okay so the example that we discussed right now is a perfect example of perceptual region so perceptual region are basically regions which are not based on facts or they are just based on perception perception is what we see and understand so it can be different for different people so that is what is a perceptual region so what we discussed right now was an example of perceptual region now what is functional and formal region so formal region is basically a region that is based on facts and how do we demarcate facts facts are those uh, uh, those things that are generated through or collected through data so for anything if i have sufficient data i can say i have significant facts for that region and based on those facts i can say this is a formal region the best example can be for example if i have a world map here okay let's say i have a world map here okay and now i am trying to demarcate areas of the world where there is a kind of agriculture that is prevalent okay so if i am saying or demarcating regions based on agriculture okay this is the region where there should be agriculture or subsistence farming this is again a region of subsistence agriculture and subsistence agriculture here that means what i am trying to do is i am trying to collect facts about certain things and therefore the regions that i have demarcated on the map would be a kind of formal regions now formal regions can be based on physical features i have rivers flowing through i have the river basin okay so if i am trying to draw a river okay and all its tributaries the complete area would be under the river basin okay so i can demarcate that this river basin is for say example the river basin of ganga river okay so i am 
defining this based on facts and therefore this Ganga River Basin is a formal region. Similarly, I can have regions based on economic activities, I can have regions based on language, culture, uh, uh, human environmental interactions and other parameters. Now we have understood what is a formal region, what is a perceptual region. Now let's come on to what is a functional region. When we talk about functional region, it is much beyond what we have already discussed. Functional region basically is a region that originates at a center and slowly and gradually tries to spread out. For example, I say New York is a major center in the United States. Okay, So what is happening basically is all the services and all the activities are slowly and gradually spreading out from New York to its suburb. So if this is the main center, the activities start spreading out and slowly and gradually all the nearby areas is influenced by that region and therefore we call this region as a functional region. Okay, So this is the basic difference between a formal region, functional region and a perceptual region. Now when we talk about regions, a lot of people have given different definitions based on region. Pattison was the first to talk about four major kinds of interaction where he mentioned regional studies or the importance of studying the region. Then there was Hartshan who talked about the concept of area differentiation. Okay. And finally you have Hetner who talked about the concept of chorology. Okay. Now all these people talked about different ways in which we can understand a region, we can explain a region. Okay? But the most fundamental thing that we need to understand about a region is a region is a set of unit of area okay, that shares some common properties or common characteristics. Now we have talked about region under the basic classification of formal, functional and perception. We will move on to the further classifications of the region. So the next classification we would be talking about is based on multi-level planning. And what do we mean by multi-level planning is basically this approach is mainly used in the concept of regional development where we talk about uh, development of regions in layers or in steps. Okay. So the first classification that we talked about was formal, functional, and perception. The next classification is based on multi-level planning on multi-level demarcation of region. We can understand multi-level demarcation of region by a simple example. I have a set of rings. Okay. Now here what we can say is we can define the region based on size or the area that it is covering. So you have the biggest ring at the bottom that is the sort of biggest area. We call it macro macro region. So let's consider this macro macro region as a nation. Okay. So you have the first thing here that I will mark here as nation. Okay. This is what is macro macro. Okay. Next to it, the next trend would be smaller in size than that. Okay. So we'll uh, rather than calling it macro macro, we'll just call it macro. And this can be an example for a state of a nation. Okay. Then the next would be smaller than this. Okay. So a ring above this, you have meso. And this can be the example for this can be district. Okay, the smaller to this would be micro. Okay, and this is the nation. You have a state out of a nation. You have a district or a county within a state. Okay, then you have a city. Okay, and the finally. The smallest would be known as micro minor. 
okay and this would be a sector of a city so for example if i am drawing uh, for example any nation here okay so this would be the state you have the nation then you have the state within the state you will have a district in the district you will be having a city and within the city you will have small sectors which would be the city sectors so this is what is the macro micro region you have the macro region meso region micro region and the micro minor region so this was this is the second important classification that we talk about under the types of region now we will be moving on to the next classification that is based on the level of economic development so if i want to classify any region based on economic development i can say three things out of it okay so either the region can be developed the region can be backward or the region can be neutral in nature so if i say a region is developed i can say um all the countries of the developed developed worlds we can say uh, north america uh, you can say europe is a developed nations if we talk about backward nations we can say all the stages which are in the early stage of development can be classified under backward regions okay so in india itself we classify the regions as backward state we have the bimaro states that is bihar madhya pradesh and odisha okay so you have the bimaro states in india then you have the neutral regions neutral regions are the regions which do not uh, uh, which are neither highly prosperous and nor are considered as a backward region they are known as neutral or intermediate regions okay so this is the third major classification that we talk about the fourth classification of the region is based on activity based on activity i can classify the region as either an agricultural region a mining region where mining is a main activity a service industry where service sector is a main industry okay so i am classifying regions on various levels the first the formal function and perception is the major classification that we try to understand under a concept of region then you have these classifications the planning system also mentions two other regions that is the nodal region and the planning region now what is a nodal region and a planning region planning region is demarcated as a region by any planning body of a country for example regions demarcated in india by planning commission fall under planning regions now what we try to understand in the planning regions is these regions are uh, segregated or demarcated based on the specific characteristics of that area okay and the requirement for development so if i say this area has lot of agriculture okay but that agriculture is basically subsistence and there is a lot of agricultural produce that is being uh, wasted or that is not being utilized what under planning region i can do is i can demarcate that region as a region with high agricultural productivity okay and once i demarcate that region as a region with high agricultural productivity i need to provide that region with specific resources okay technical support for that region to grow and develop and prosperous okay so these are the basic thing that we follow under regional uh, planning regions the next is the nodal region what do we mean by the term nodal region for example i have a development in a city say x so this is the city x and you have a lot of development in the city now what happens here is if we want to bring other industries in this region would be considered as a most optimum region rather than locating a industry say 50 kilometers away from this 
I would prefer to locate this industry 5 kilometers away from this. Okay. So I have a next industry Y that comes up here, Z that comes up here, then you have A, B, and C that comes up. Now what is happening is around this main focus or the main city, you have minor things that are coming up. Since you have an industry that is coming up here, this industry is utilizing, uh, this region is utilizing resources from some other place, say M. Okay. So this M would try to locate uh, near Z rather than locating away from this main center. So slowly and gradually what happens is everything focuses towards the center of growth and there is a kind of nodal development as we can see. So here is how we understand the concept of nodal growth. Okay, so these are what are known as the nodal regions. You have a good stuff of node that comes up here around which all the further activities try to surround and try to get accumulated around. So this is what is a nodal region. So in this class we are trying to understand the various types of region. The foremost in the basic classification that we are trying to understand is formal function and perception. Then we have the multi-level planning regions. We have regions based on economic growth and development. We have regions based on activity and then we have regions demarcated by planning commission or uh, the planning regions we can say and then we have the nodal regions. We will be talking more about the growth center and the growth pole in the further classes. Uh, on